This is an absolute nightmare. Cameras are set. Who's going to tell Graham? I don't know. Can we even continue? Well, you'll have to think of something. We'll go live in 10 seconds. Uh, all right. I'll keep looking for someone. I guess we'll just have to wing it until uh, then. Can you count us in? Oh, sure. Going live in five, four, three, two, one. Live from the capital, it's the St Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. And please welcome your host, it's the Dreamboat, Graham Bannon. Hello, it only is. Hello, it's Mr Bannon. Got one of them. Got one of them. Good night. If you won't be my lady, lady, then at least have my babies, babies. No, don't give me a maybe, maybe, no. I know what women are like. Do you know what? I, 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 sorry, I, I know I'm supposed to be. Sorry, stop the music, stop the music. I, mean, I, 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 yeah, I, know, I know I'm supposed to be starting the show, but I can't help but notice it. I mean, where's the audience? I mean, who are you? I mean, this is an absolute nightmare, isn't it really? I mean, are we are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first annual St Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. I'm your host, Graham Bannon, and it is an absolute pleasure to be here. We are here tonight, as we may be aware, for one very important cause, and that is, of course, little Sally Button. Little Sally Button has a life-threatening condition, and she will die tonight, unless we can raise enough funds to cure her of her studio, studio hypo, um, studio, I should learn that, studio hypo, uh, poo, 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 I don't know how to say that word, but what I do know is it's a long word and a bad disease. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to raise 20 grand tonight and we can't do it without your help. And how can I help you screaming at home? Well, don't scream and I'll tell you. We're taking donations starting right now. But let's beat feet and head over to the blowers. Uh, the phones, not the girls. <laughs> Hello, hello, ladies. Good evening, Graham. Tell you something, ladies. Uh, those are some classy chassis, if you don't mind me saying so. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so, so, girls, um, would one of you kitty cats please let the viewers at home know exactly why you're here this evening? Yes, sir. Uh, us kitty cats will be taking calls from across the country to raise money for this little girl. If you would like to donate, no matter how large or small, please ring now. I'll tell you, I'll be giving you a ring later. An engagement ring if you play your cards right. Now that was a zinger. If I do a, if I do a zing, I play the sound. Yeah, that's it. I'll check in with you later. It's time to have a look at how much money we're starting off with tonight. Using state-of-the-art technology that we can track up to the second exactly how much money has been raised from your donations. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, look, let's have a look at how much we're starting off with tonight. OK, looks like we're not starting off with any money tonight. It's a bit strange. I'm surprised they didn't put something in, just to show, really. But um, perhaps it's a little unclear of how you donate still. Um, how about I cut the gas and show you what's what, daddy -o's? Uh Give me the thing. OK, so I'll pretend to be you at home. This is role play. You really can do this in real life from your sofa or couch. It's ringing. So, uh... Hello, who am I speaking to, please? Hello, you're speaking to Barbara at the phone desk. Hello, Barbara at the phone desk. You have a beautiful voice. OK. Uh, I'd like to donate your tenner, please. I'm finding it hard to hear you. Your phone doesn't actually work. You're going to have to be louder. Uh, I'd like to donate a tenner, please. Thank you, sir. What a generous donation. May I ask who's calling? You don't have to do that, do you? You know, you know who's calling, down you? It's Graham Bannon. And how do you spell Bannon? Don't say that. People would know how to say my name. There we go. And so we, if, I, if I'm correct, there should be 10 on it now. Look at that. Technology at its finest. 10 on it now. So only 19,990 remaining, which should be a Bannon breeze. 
I was a zinger. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a rundown of the jam-packed acts we have lined up for you on this jam-packed lineup on this jam-packed evening. Who wrote that? Too many things packed in jam. Starting off tonight, we have the incredible Raj and Rishik. Following that, we have an amazing acrobat who will do a, jumps all over the stage and stuff. And then finally, we'll have the lovely legs contest to end act one, which I'm rather looking forward to myself, ladies. Then, starting act two, we're going to have a magician who will do all magic and that. Then we're going to have a fire-breathing man who will be breathing fire. And then ending act two, we're going to have a daredevil who will dive into a bucket of water. All right. Then going into act three, we're going to have the unicyclist act. Then following that, the strongest man in the world, the strong man. And then finally, the grand finale. Now for the grand finale, we asked little Sally Button what she wanted more than anything else in the world. And she had a very simple reply. I'd like a dancing chimpanzee, please, Graham. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we have managed to source a dancing chimpanzee for the finale of this show. How does that sound? Oh, there's no one here, is there? Okay, so without further ado, Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our first act of the evening. He's come all the way from <laughs> this event. And let's just say he might have brought a little friend along with him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the incredible Raj and Rishik. <laughs> As I said, it's, uh, it is Raj and Rishik. <laughs> to the stage. I mean, this is a nightmare. I mean, what is going on? I mean, is there, is, uh, this, isn't, this isn't working, is it? I mean, is there anyone around here who knows it? You, come here, come here, come here, come here. What is going on? Do you know what I'm saying at all? Why is he here? You, you come here, come here, come here. This is unbelievable. Hello, Mr. Bannon. Hello, yes, come here. Are you the, are you the producer, are you? No, I, I, I'm nobody, me. I, I just help the fellas unload the cameras. Right, from fantastic, the great story. Um, so, uh, do you know where the producer is? Uh, well. That's the problem. Get on with it, come on. But... Well, it, it turns out, you know, the roads around the capital are shut down. because. Yeah, the... yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it turns out uh, the producer, the director, most of the acts and also all of the audience are on the same bus heading oh, in and now they're stuck somewhere near Jamstable. Are you seriously telling me there's no one else around here who can sort this mess out? He's pretty good at organising. No, well, no, obviously not. That's not going to work, is it? Look at you. You're the producer now. Well done, that's great, big promotion for you. Now what you need to do is go away and find me a version of all the acts I've just promised the people at home. That, that's not really my thing, Governor. Well, do you know what? It is your thing now, Governor. Right, or a child drops down dead. So off you go, go do that, quick smart. All right, uh, you can count on me. OK, very good. Go away. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the first act of the evening. He's come all the way from... I've read that. Don't repeat the same stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's... They're not here, are they? No, they are here. Well, why didn't they come out the first... Ladies and gentlemen, it's Raj and Rishik. Hello, everyone. My name is Raj. And you might be asking, where is Rishik? Uh, so here he is. Uh, what's your name, Rishik? And what do you do? I am working in banking. <laughs> That's interesting. No, it isn't. <laughs> OK, you have anything else to say? No? Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Have you finished? Am I finished? Yes, yes, I'm finished. OK, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Raj and Rishik, play the sound for applause. We don't have anyone here. <laughs> OK. Well, fan fa fantastic, I think. Uh, so, well done, Raj. Um, so, I know a little birdie told me you travelled in all the way from <laughs> just for this event. No, we cycled here. Oh. Uh, Rishik was cycling and I was sitting in the basket. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, now they laugh. Yeah, now they laugh. Um, uh, great joke, great joke. Um, so, uh, uh, is he a good cyclist, is he, Rishik? Why are you asking me? You can ask him. I'll ask him. Okay, that's setting something up. Okay, uh, uh, Rishik, are you a good cyclist, mate? Why are you talking to him? He's only a puppet. Don't set a joke up with that if you're not going to follow it through. That ruins it, doesn't it? You farted. Graham farted. I didn't fart. I didn't fart. He made 
made the sound out of his mouth. He made the... Stop doing that. Okay? Yes, you should be disappointed. Get off the stage. What a load of crap. We've had two. I didn't fall. No. Acrobat's not here. Great. But I, uh, I've got an alternative. Okay. His name's James. Sounds good. He's not an acrobat. Sounds good to me. Bring him on. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going to happen now, but please welcome to the stage. It's the incredible. It is James. Hello. Hello. Oh. I, I was just walking past the theatre when that guy came up to me and said, hello, we've got the perfect job for you. All you have to do is stand on stage, we'll pay you. It's something like that. Tell you what, I'll level with you here, James. We were expecting an acrobatic act now. Oh, right. Damn. Yes, 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 damn indeed, damn indeed. Um, uh, tell me, James, can you do acrobatics by any chance? No, I, I can't, no, I haven't since school. That'd be fine, you remember a lot from school. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, this acrobat James will now perform for you a series of double backflips. There's no way I can do that. Oh, well, I'll do some cartwheels. Uh, I, I'm not going to do any cartwheels. But here's a job for you instead. Sweeping up the corpse of a dead girl. Start the music, please. Come on. And that's the act. Absolutely marvellous. Sort this out. Where is it? Sort that out. Um, absolutely marvellous. Well done there. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of James in the future. Good job there. Well done. You really... That really worked out well. Worked out a treat. Yes, get off the stage. We've had two absolutely marvellous acts this evening, so I think it's time to have a look at what impact that's made on the old fundraiser. So, drum roll, please. OK, looks like we still haven't made any money at all. That's a bit surprising. Um, perhaps I'll check in with the bombshells to find out exactly what's going... What are you doing there? Get out! Sling your rook! Go on, go! You're upsetting the girls. Ladies. Well, I was expecting a little more money in the old pot by now, ladies. Uh, have the callers not been particularly generous so far? We haven't had any callers so far. Are you serious? How dare you? How dare you? A child is quite literally dying somewhere out there, and you're too lazy to get up off your asses, go over to those phones we have, turn the dials, and pledge money to save her life. You greedy bastards. Sorry, Graham. Just found out the phone lines haven't been connected yet. All right. Yeah, Young forgot to do it. Who's Young? Oh, that idea, right. Go on, Young. Got just a job for you. I'll give him an hand. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can offer only my greatest apologies. My outburst just now was directed at you, when it should, of course, have been directed at Young. Please accept those apologies. Now it's time for the Lovely Legs Contest. What better way to end tonight's programme, the first part of tonight's programme, than with a display of beauty and talent? I don't want to talk to him, you ask him. So for your viewing pleasure, these 10 out of 10s will be modelling the latest in fashionable swimwear. Uh, Graham? Uh, not now, love. I'm speaking to camera. Graham Donna's not here. So what? Well, we need four of us for the routine, so let's... Well, we'll do the routine with three of you. We'll do it with three. Well... Does anyone else around here know it? Oh, he was watching us rehearse earlier. Oh, was he? That's very interesting. Little pervert. Tell you what, slap a costume on and stick him at the back. That'll teach him. He doesn't know what's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was told... Fine, just fixed. Great, sit down and take calls. When I was told that I'd be judging the best legs out of a group of young, attractive women, I said, where do I sign? <laughs> well, I did sign. And that time is now. 
The time to look at women and judge them. Ladies and gentlemen, the first lovely lady to the stage is Barbara. <laughs> now, Barbara plays for the local women's amateur football team. So she can quite often be seen getting down and dirty of a Sunday lunchtime. I think it's fair to say this girl has seen more than her fair share of tackles. <laughs> Linda's up next. Linda is an avid gardener, and she can quite often be seen on a balmy summer's evening, tending to her petunias and uh, trimming a bush. <laughs> Deborah's up next. Deborah's a socialite, and Deborah likes nothing more than a nice night in the pub with the girls, glugity glug, glug, glug. <laughs> but I tell you, forget the pub. Nice legs, love. What time do they open? <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. And then finally, we have Donna. I mean, Yong, who's taking a, who's taking over Donna. Now, Donna. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, that's really unpleasant, that isn't it? Uh. I oh, wish I hadn't suggested it now. He hasn't shaved. He's... I mean, he knows the routine, but um, he has... doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, Christ. Okay, um, uh, Don, I mean, Yong is quite... I mean, this is this is appalling, isn't it? Can, can, we, can we do this? I... I think we have to stop the music, actually. I, I, I don't think I can let this go on, to be honest. It's quite, quite, quite unpleasant. Um... Why is he still doing that? Stop him dancing! Yeah, yeah. I'm angry now! He's made all of you look bad, hasn't he? Look at him. He's pleased with himself, it looks like to me. He makes all of you look bad when he's standing there looking like that, doesn't he? Absolutely pointless. I'll tell you what else. It's pointless anyway, because obviously Deborah's got the best legs. Knew that going in. Do you know what? Just take him off the stage. It's, it, it, I'm angry. I'll tell you, if there was an audience, they'd be a booing you, Yong. They'd be a booing. And that seems to me like the perfect place to end Act One on a bit of a high. So I'll tell you what, why don't you grab a, grab a drink, sit back, enjoy the adverts, and we'll see you after this. What are you doing? I am setting up for the Act Two. I haven't finished talking! After the adverts, we'll see you back then. <laughs> OK, one minute back. Terrible. Uh, just do exactly what I do and wait for the big fat check to come in. I hear that.